20th of May and we are in Gabon heading to the town of Brewery and then on to the Reserve de Lopa. This is the first gravel road that we have hit in Gabon. The rest have been perfect tar roads. So it's very interesting to see what the, these conditions are like compared to what we've just experienced. Okay, that's the the logging that's taking place here in Gabon. All the trucks that are flying past, and um, let's hope there's no more. Almost tradition now is our daily stop around 11 o'clock for a nice fresh brewed cup of coffee. We are currently 12 degrees north of the equator and heading steadily south to a village called Bui. Here we are in the middle of Gabon, heading towards Reserve de la Lope. And we finally have a feeling that we're in Africa. <laughs> Still got many flies though. In Yaoundé, uh, hunting for spares in a Land Rover dealer, we found a couple of genuine Camel Trophy roof racks tucked away in a corner. And after a bit of negotiating, we managed to get these thrown in for free with a couple of bump stops we paid for. So we've got one on the back of my Range Rover and one on the back of uh, Martin's 110. Peace and quiet, heading towards the Reserve de Lope middle of Gabon having crossed the equator today for the first time on the 20th of May 2005 easy enough to remember 2005 and 2005 Did they just put put and go? Yeah. And they just got stuck. And they got stuck. <laughs> it's really soggy. It's very bad. Vediamo l'indietro, dai, che poi scaviamo allora. Eh? Siete d'accordo? Se la stiriamo indietro e poi scaviamo un po' il sotto, passiamo tutti. What happened there? Okay, we are on this road. Things are going very well. Some loggers warned us that um, the road would be getting very, very muddy. We said, no, cut, cut, four, four by four, we'll get through. We arrive and we catch up the Italians in the Toyota. They had a go and grounded. Plan is to use the Land Rover, pull them out backwards, and then we will clear some of the mud because it's too high for us because of all these huge big trucks. And then once we've done that, we'll take it again. Okay, man. Mm. Marco! Dritte le gomme! Stop! 
dritte. Così. Matteo, bad luck, eh? Not good. The Giotas tried twice to get through. Now it's a good clutch turn, and here it goes. It's now making more of a mess for us. Oh. And it can't go any further. Oh, what's the problem? Okay. <laughs> it's like we're going back to the cave. Okay. So I haven't got many things to say. Probably we had to think better of the strategy before taking action. Anyway, we made a feast for mosquitoes, so we'll be useful to somebody at least. <laughs> I appreciate the presence of a fridge in your car because chilled water is the best thing you can have besides a cold beer afterwards, tonight. When we'll be I want to present myself as the candidate for, the ga for Gabon. <laughs> we want to really build a new road. And we just arrived with the new our machine. Powerful machine. The Orange Ice belongs to a very fantastic company. Five years studying in Harvard. 